Okay, so like I know this is gonna be really hard to hear, but I have finally found what I've been looking for. Like it's taken a lot of time, but I've gotta go my own way. You know, it's, it's really about breaking free, figuring out what I wanna do. And I know that's hard for you to hear because we've had a lot of great times together, you know? But like, it's all about the start of something new. Cause it's now or never. I need a life. What's going on everybody, Lisa here. And as you can tell from the title of this video, I am going to talk about why I left Clever and what is next for me and the channel that you are currently on. You know, I kind of struggled with whether or not I should do this because, you know, most of you probably have no idea that I even work at Clever or that I was on Clever because I wasn't a regular host. But there are a handful of people that kept asking me, you know, are you from Clever? I get comments on my videos on here being like, is that Lisa from Clever? Why did Lisa leave Clever? So I just felt like I would just make one to inform everybody what's you know mainly next on this channel and what I'm going to be doing personally. This is not a video to drag Clever in any way. So if you're looking for that kind of stuff, you're gonna have to go watch one of those Why I Left Buzzfeed videos or something to hear them drag their own companies, but I'm not going to do that. But before I get to all of that, I am going to share with you a little bit of footage I filmed my last few days of Clever, which includes Lily reacting to Selena Gomez's fetish video. I get to work and the fire alarm is going off. What the hell's happening in this place? What's happening, Ellie? I don't know. So I'm walking down the hallway to my office and um, there's literally just like a penguin onesie just or something hanging on the door. Really? Still going off. I should be working, but instead I'm watching this really strange Selena Gomez music video. <laughs> and eating the soap. Oh. It looks like some mix of like The Shining and even the cover for it looks like a horror movie. Like something, she's creepy. <laughs> creepy In like Selena. a really good way though. <laughs> See? It's tomato juice. I'm just no, kidding. It's just the blood of her victims. <laughs> Is she eating glass? <laughs> She's like guillotining yeah. her tongue. Why? Like when the We Can't Stop video came out. And then this is weirder there. than that. I know and I love it. You're cry baby. This is so sad. I What's got gonna happen when I need to talk to someone about movies? You got Sinead. No. <laughs> What's gonna happen when I need someone to help me with my job because I can't do it without you? There's like 10 other people. No. no. And by 10, I mean like 50 other people, Aaron. No, Lisa. Okay, I packed up a whole bag full of toys. I got a onesie and Olaf. And I'm just gonna go leave things on people's desks because I don't want to take it home and uh, they get a present. I mean, well, don't tell Jill that anything is happening. Do I get a hug? You could have plush minions. <gasps> I love minions! Okay, so why I left Clever. So first I should fill you in on what I did at Clever. So I was at Clever for five and a half years. I was a content manager and producer. So what that means is I helped produce a lot of interviews, coming up with news story ideas, um, you know, pitching the topics we should cover that day. As one of the content managers, I helped pull photos and videos that you see in all of those videos, as well as one of the people who uploaded the videos so that you actually had something to watch on YouTube. And after doing that for five and a half years, I just felt like there was nowhere else for me to go. There was no growth at the company in my job per se. I just wasn't happy there anymore, mainly because I wasn't being challenged. It was one of those things where I was just content with what I was doing, but I wasn't really happy. And I needed to figure out what made me happy again. So while I was there, I did start doing more on this channel as you've probably seen. And the response, which I wanna thank all of you for, has actually been really, really good. Like, I didn't expect that um, because I'm kinda of new to this whole on-camera crap. And you guys really have embraced me when it comes to the TV recaps I've been doing and the little news bites. And that was really encouraging for me. And so that actually kinda of helped 
re-spark this thing that I've, I've been trying to find again. You know, I lost a lot of creativity just kind of being in a flat job of not, you know, getting to be creative anymore. You know, with, with all the, the support you guys have given me from watching my videos and just realizing that my mental health was not, you know, in the state it should have been and I was probably becoming angrier and probably not a fun person to be around. I needed to take that big risk. I needed to pull the trigger and I needed to leave a job that was steady and, and good, but like I wasn't happy and to find something that I'm happy in. And I'm starting at ground zero and I know that and it's not gonna be an easy ride. You know, it's gonna be a lot of ups and downs. Some days I may make money, some days I might not. That's just how this goes, but I am happy now. And, and that's what I think matters the most is you have to find something that you're really happy doing because if you're doing a lot of work and you're miserable, that's not going to be good for you. Um, and if you're working hard, but it's something you love, then that's like the goal, honestly, right? To, to do what you love. So that is essentially why I left. It had nothing to do with what the company as a whole is doing, the direction of where they're going, whatever. I just knew that I no longer fit in as far as what I saw myself doing and what they saw themselves doing. There was no shows that I could see myself going to. I didn't really want to host their news because it just, I can't talk about the Jenners and the Kardashians. I can't talk about things that I actually don't care about. So that's why I started doing my own stuff on this channel. And so if you've looked at Shine On Media, it's been around for a long time. I've been doing this for over 11 years now. The YouTube, I think it's been around for 10 years. And it started off as a lot of concert footage and then interviews that I would do. And I know I've built a lot of subscribers just off concert footage, over 100,000 I think just off concert footage, but I haven't posted concert footage in probably two years or a year and a half. And since then I've even seen this channel grow up to what it is now, which is over 300,000, which is kind of crazy. So it means that, you know, I, I, I'm hoping that you guys have liked the interviews that I've been doing and I've seen growth now since I've been doing TV recaps and everything. And so that's what I want to try to do more of. I want to do the things that I, I like talking about that hopefully you guys also you know, like. It's kind of like a little community. And so that's, that's the plan here is to keep doing what you've seen on this channel so far and then maybe doing more series of things like maybe a then and now series or a before they were famous or where are they now type stuff. Stuff that I know is not revolutionary. There's a ton of channels that do it but maybe you'll like the way that I present it to you hopefully and that you know will will do well we'll see it's, it's a lot of testing things out trial and error like I said I'm back at ground zero trying to build an audience trying to figure out the direction of this channel and I'm not doing this as a personality channel that's not really what I'm good at as you can see pretty much everything I do is based off pop culture of some sort I'm not very good at vlogging I'm not good at scripted sketch type stuff but every now and then, I don't know, maybe I'll throw a vlog up if I do something exciting, which doesn't happen often. There's just gonna be a lot of random crap on this channel. And if you like it, you like it. If you don't like it, I get it. That's kind of it. Basically, I am going to start doing more stuff on this channel. And hopefully, if you like what you see, you'll subscribe. If you don't, that's totally up to you. Um, I know my personality isn't for everybody. That's fine. Um, some people don't get my humor, some people think that I talk funny. You just have to learn to focus on the positive comments. So for those of you that do like me, I appreciate it. You are one of the many reasons why I am going to try to do more stuff on this channel. And I wish Clever nothing but the best. I know I was on a lunchy break this week because we went to the same thing, a workout class for Jocelyn. So you never know, like those people I have good relationships with, they might, maybe someone will pop up on this channel, I don't know. I am thankful for everything that the people of Clever have done for me, um, everything that they've taught me, and I know that they are gonna continue to do great things. And I just wanna thank you guys for those of you that follow me on social media or whatever. It, I don't know why, because like I said, I'm pretty boring. But I, I thank you so much and hopefully I can continue to do things that entertain you and that you like. I, yeah, that's, that's really all I got right now. So before I start blabbing about something else or going off on another tangent or repeating stuff you've already heard, I'm going to say goodbye for now. And I hope that you stick around and give this channel a chance. You can find me on all the social media stuff down in the descriptions below. And I'm gonna sign off. So I will see you later. If you like what you saw, subscribe, hit the thumbs up. Peace out.